Yes, yes sir. Did you guys, when the show ended, ever take any stuff from the prop room or anything? <laughs> oh, wow. It was gutted. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yes, yes. Actually, I took home, they were just giving them away, they were putting them out for garbage. I took a bunch of Star Wars costumes, and then I was in an improv group um, called Comic Book Live, and we used those to put on our own version of episode seven, when it was announced, I know, weird. And then I also have the curtain, I own the curtain from Attack of the Show, I just realized this, from the wardrobe, they had this giant, it's like floor to ceiling curtain that they, you would, you know, pull the curtain, and then you would change your clothes, and then, you know, so I have that curtain. Wow, I just realized that. And then, um, no one knows this, I stole something from Kevin's bathroom dressing room. It was after everything ended and whatever, and this really cool sort of Ikea, like, towel rack, and I was like, I want that fucking, and I had, like, I just, just, ripped it out of the wall and somehow was able, and this was the last day I was at Attack of the Show, and it was a very sad day, and I was just like, I'm taking that with me, and I just took it. You guys so, yeah. that, right? Like, Ooh, that's a good question to ask everybody, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna ask everybody that question. Thank you. See how this participation thing works? And you didn't even back it. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Um, thank you so much for being here. I don't want to be a downer, but yeah. I, I, be a downer. I have to know, was there a something rotten in Denmark? You know, like a, 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 a double take of like some talk a producer said, or a, a red flag that went out in your head towards the end of like, wait, what, what? No, no, nothing from producers, but from like corporate, and I don't know what really happened, because truthfully, Attack of the Show consistently got really good ratings. Like, it got, I mean, it had a million viewers, and Which course, in today's TV would be like, you know, top huge, 10%. Huge. Right? So, so it, I, I believe it was something at an executive level. There was nothing with the producers. They were just doing their show, right? They were doing their jobs. But it was somehow on an executive level, my feeling is they really didn't know how to sell to nerd culture. And which is the dumbest possible thing ever because if you look at nerd culture dominates, whether it's the box office, whether it's television shows, I mean, it's just nerd culture kind of owns everything to the point where it's now become well, fragmented. Now it does. What's that? Well, now it does. Well, now it does, right. <laughs> well, that, well, that, that was the dumbest show thing. Is that they, they, were, they were like, I, I think the, the network business. became Esquire, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, right. Well, this is what we're trying to find out in the documentary, right? That's the thesis is trying to figure out yeah. what happened. Well, we definitely we heard a lot of rumors, though, under people's breaths, like, oh, this is, we're, we're going away. But I heard that for four years when I was there. I was like, every day, I'm like, oh, we're done? But I, what I want to do is, I want to find the executive that made the decision, and I want to hear yeah. that person and confront them. Yeah. And I want to find out, I want, I want the world to know that this person, this is the person that made the dumbest mistake ever. They could have kept that shit going for years. They could have replaced the cast with other people. So, unfortunately, we have one minute left, so we have to wrap it up. Uh -huh.